Hey folks, today we're going to show you how to trim out a window to give it a farmhouse look with uh, uh, wood jams and wood trim all the way around. It's going. Okay, we're fixing to build the window casing around our kitchen window. Uh, Donna picked a pattern that's kind of a farmhouse style. It looks really nice. It's a little intricate, but it looks really good when you're done. And so we'll show you how we do it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, though, is uh, this ship pipe siding that we use is yellow pine siding. It has a tendency to, to cup. And so when you put a straight edge up against it, you can see where there are places where it sticks out farther than others. And so it, it just kind of leaves gaps along the edge like this. Well, that's not going to look good when we put the tram on the outside and you can see it from the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is go around and nail down on all the corners on this chip flap. And we'll be using some eight, box, eight common box nails. Uh, a box nail has a head on it like a common nail but the diameter of the nail isn't as thick as a regular common nail. And therefore, when you're nailing near the edge of one of these boards, these yellow pine boards, it doesn't crack it quite so badly. So, really, pretty simple process. We're just gonna go all the way around it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is cut and rip the jams that go on three sides of the, uh, of the window, the two sides of the top. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to measure from the lip of the frame here. There's a, there's a corresponding lip up here at the top. And whatever that dimension is, and it is 50 inches. Uh, actually it's 49 and 7 eighths. We're going to add a half inch to that, and then that way the casing material will have a quarter inch reveal at the top, quarter inch reveal at the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing on uh, the uh, sides. In other words, we want to keep quarter inch reveal all the way around all three sides. So let me cut and rip those, and then we'll nail them together. Okay, our two side jams are the longest. So we cut a one by 12, the length we need for the two sides. Now we're gonna go rip it uh, three and five eighths, which is the thickness of the jam. And then that'll give us one piece left over that we can use for the top. So let me go rip this down and I'll be right back. Okay, now we got our two sides and our top pieces of jam material cut and ripped. So we're gonna start out just by nailing them together on the ground. Okay, now we're going to get a dimension for uh, the bottom piece, which will actually be the window seal, and it'll just be made out of one by six. So let me cut it, and then we'll nail that in place. Okay. Okay, we've got our one by six cut for the window seal, but before we cut it and nail it up, we're going to put a uh, chamfered edge on the front edge and the two ends. Okay, that's a chamfer router bit. And that's the router he's using. Okay, now we got our window seal cut. We've got it notched for the ends, and it's still got that chamfer on the front and the, and the ends. So now, what we're gonna do, we're laying down here with those brick pieces, and nail it in, and just make a big square box. Okay, there's the four sides of our 
window casing. And now we'll just pick the whole thing up. Bring it over here. And set it in the window where it goes. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some shims under the bottom, some shims on the side, the top. And we're going to get that quarter inch margin that we were shooting for all the way around all four sides and then we'll nail it up. So uh, back in a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so now we got our window casing set in place and we're fixing to block it up to get our quarter inch margin all the way around. Uh, some places, you know, we use shims, wooden shims to, sh to shim it up. But in some places the shim is not thick enough. So what works really, really good is if you'll go to your Lowe's or Home Depot and they'll give you all the five gallon paint stir sticks that you want. They're exactly a quarter inch thick and they're really good. Just cut them into little pieces and then you can slip them underneath there and, and take up some of that gap without having to use all your, shingle, your shims up. So let me get this thing shimmed up and nailed and then we'll take another look at it. Oh yeah, you look really like you're a builder. All right. Okay, uh, we've got our window casing in place now. Uh, we got an even margin all the way over in the window frame. We got it blocked and shimmed and got it nailed in place. So now we're gonna put some trim on it. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut a couple of one fours and route the two edges with a chamfer router bit and put them on each side. So we're, gonna, we're gonna keep about an eighth inch margin, a little reveal on this edge of the uh, window jam. And so we actually cut it to where it sticks up about an eighth of an inch above the bottom of this jam. That way you'll have an eighth inch margin all the way around. So, we'll uh, go through and nail, nail this up and then we'll be back in a little bit. We got the two side pieces of trim on. Now we're going to put an apron on the bottom. So what we did, we did it the same length as the width from edge to edge on these two side pieces. And then we chamfered the bottom and the two ends. And we'll go right there as a Apron under the seal. When you're making this window, uh, you can make it without chamfering it if you so choose to. Okay, back later. We've got the apron underneath the window seal now, so now we're going to build a crown that goes up on top and we're going to build it on the ground and then just set it up there. So the first thing we did is we cut a one before that's the same length as the width of the outside trim here and chamfered it just on the ends. Then we cut uh, one before the length of the window sill and chamfered it on all four sides and split it right down the middle. And so it will now go like so, okay? And then we cut one more chamfered it on three sides and it's an inch and a half longer than the one that we split. That way you'll have a three quarter of an inch overhang on each end. And it will go something like that. So we'll make all that up on the ground and then we'll just nail it in place. So let's go to the ground. All right, so let's start out putting this bottom piece on. And it's got a three quarter inch overhang on both ends. So I'm just using a little Block of wood, make right sure it's even on both sides. Should. 
Okay, note that uh, both campers go down. Okay, there's our cap. Uh, now let's go to the window and nail it up. Okay, put it in place. And there's that eighth inch margin we were trying to keep on the top down. And we'll just center it. It looks nice, huh? Yep. Okay, folks, thanks for watching uh, on how to build really cool farmhouse windows. And if you like the video, give us a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. Later.